This is horrible. <laughs> All right, so today it's July Raves and Rejects. I'm feeling like I'm about to get friggin' blinded by the sun. So fingers crossed natural lighting is gonna work in our favor today. Uh, I cut my hair, <laughs> cut four more inches off. So I've cut about 10 inches off in the past couple months. I think this video is gonna be the first one up with this hair, but I also vlogged that day, so that'll be coming, I think, in a couple weeks. But anyways, yes, short hair. It happened. Anyways, let's talk about some favorites. I just realized I didn't pull any of my rejects. Have them all on my phone, but I didn't pull them out. BRB. I got them, we're ready to roll. But if you're new here, I do raise and rejects usually every couple months just so I give myself enough time to test everything. So I'm gonna leave my past raise and rejects down below in a playlist if you wanna watch my favorites from other months. I don't repeat favorites, so if you wanna know some other stuff I love, you can check out those videos, but let's get into it. Okay, let's start out with uh, something that just came out of my shower, so it's a little on the wet side. This is the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Body Scrub. I got the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. You guys know at this point my love affair with Dr. Teal's. I love their Epsom Salt for just soaking in the tub, but I wanted to try out their Body Scrub because I love my tea trot. <laughs> tea trot. Tea Tree Hut body scrub, especially I picked up the coconut scent. Oof, that's a good one. Love that scrub. I'm pretty picky with scrubs because I like them to have like a decent amount of exfoliation, but I also don't want it to dry out my skin. So this is exactly that. I would say grit wise, this compared to the Tree Hut, I think it's about the same. I'm about halfway through this. Ooh, that just cleared out my sinuses. This has a very strong eucalyptus, like menthol-y kind of smell, which I personally love. I find it super refreshing. So I have two cream blushes to mention, and I've been pretty much reaching for one or the other nonstop. These two are what I've been wearing. One is drugstore, one's high end. I'll start off with the Milt Cosmetics Polished Cream Blush Light. So they have two different cream blush formulas. One is more on the matte side, and these are their blush lights. So it's basically like a blush and highlighter mix. It just has a really pretty glow. This just gives my cheeks the exact color, the exact finish, everything that I'm going for. It gives you the perfect like summery kind of glow blush. And the formula of this doesn't pick up your foundation underneath. I like to apply all my cream products with the e.l.f. putty primer applicator. That just took me so many times. And I can't even say so many times. That just took me so many times to say. That brush, the mini little brush, it's great to blend out cream products. It just packs it on nicely without lifting up what's underneath. This is now one of my all-time favorite cream blushes, especially for the summer. And I don't find that it's like glittery. It, it is glowy. It's a super glowy blush. And then drugstore option. This is actually from Dollar General. It's the Bleed Beauty Doll Face Cream Blush. I've mentioned this a lot in videos recently. This is a beautiful, just straight up pink blush. This one does still have a slight glow. It's not like completely matte. It's not as glowy as the blush light. Believe Beauty has some good stuff. So if you ever drive by a Dollar General, stop in to uh, to check out their makeup. Melt one, by the way, you need the tiniest amount. Like I'll dip my brush in once and then apply it to both cheeks. It's super pigmented. This one I think has the perfect amount of pigment because I don't have to be like careful with going overboard, but both of them sit over top of the face. Great. Someone commented the other day saying, I forget what country they live in, but they said that they noticed that a lot of people in the US have been starting to say over top instead of over the top. And I was like, that is true. I never used to say over top of. I don't know if it's just like a makeup thing or just a YouTube thing. I don't know, comment down below. What do you guys say, over the top or over top of? Anyways, a little grammar break there. <laughs> what we all came here for. Okay, these are the best friggin' discovery. I found these on Yes Style. They are the smallest eyebrow razors I have ever found. Look at how <laughs> tiny these are. They're so cute, but they're perfect for your eyebrows because you can get right where you need it. For comparison, other eyebrow razors usually go out to about here. So these are incredibly small. You can get exactly where you want it. I got these on Yes Style. They're super affordable and they're from Shiseido. If you're someone like me who dreads plucking your eyebrows, I actually can't remember the last time I actually plucked my eyebrows. My go-to move is the, the eyebrow razor these days. It's just so much easier. So taking a makeup break, now moving on to a few of my food favorites. And I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Thrive Market. Some of you have reached out saying you also got Thrive Market, but you wanna know my favorites and the things that I always purchase on there. So I thought this would be fitting to pop in some of my food favorites. I've been a paying member of Thrive Market myself for the last couple years. And if you've never heard of them, they're basically an online membership-based market, but I find 
killer deals on there where it's actually cheaper than shopping in the store, like in person. I love that I don't have to go into a store. I dread going into grocery stores. You can just add shop your pass orders, auto ship stuff. And I just find that I discover new snacks on there, new food that I don't usually see in the grocery store. Here's the box that comes in with carbon neutral shipping. Did I get enough candy? I don't think so, but this isn't, you know, bad candy. It's a uh, healthy candy. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. I actually got my parents hooked on Smart Sweets. These are so good. My favorite ones are their Red Twists. I also love the peach rings and then they just launched these, the gummy bear or the, what are these, gummy worms. These don't have any artificial sweeteners made with all natural flavors and they're super low in calorie and sugar for this whole bag. It's 110 calories. Thrive Market has the best deal on these two that I've seen because these can get pretty pricey in stores. We gotta taste test this. I always get whiffs on there. The Parmesan are my favorite. I like crumbling this up and putting them on salad. They're basically like cheese croutons. Pro tip, when you're shopping on Thrive Market, always check out their sales because they do killer sales. This I got for 40% off. This is a repurchase because I love this. It's the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Ground Coffee. It doesn't taste like mushrooms or anything. Mushrooms have a lot of health benefits for you. But I got it 40% off for $14.47. 40% off. I always get capers on there because I'm a weird caper addict and I eat these by the spoonful. If you wanna have a little coffee treat without going and spending double on coffee if you went to like a coffee shop, I got these for $2.24 each. But these are good. I think these are my favorite like pre-canned kind of coffee. It's the Califia Nitro Latte with oat milk. And these ones were also on sale this time so I decided to try them for the same price. Pop and bottle vanilla oat milk latte. Look at this packaging, so cute. I always get oat milk on there because it's the best price. This is one of my favorite brands of oat milk too. I always get the Thrive avocado oil spray. We go through this like crazy just cooking. And by we, I mean my boyfriend because he's the only one who cooks around here. I wanted to try their collagen peptides because it had really good reviews and it was on sale. And I want to try putting this in my coffee in the morning. There's a lot of benefits for collagen peptides, but it's supposed to be good for your hair, skin, and nails. One of my favorite snacks on there are the grass-fed beef sticks, the jalapeno flavor, so good. It's a really good place to just get basics like this stevia. This is a stevia sweetener. This is a giant bottle. I didn't know it was gonna be this big, but I'll put that in my coffee. And then I tried a few different snacky things that I haven't picked up before. These are the sugar-free coconut milk caramels, yum. And then high key, I do have their baking mix, but these are like low-carb cookies to try peanut butter and mini chocolate chip. Both of these have really good reviews. They also have a Thrive Gives program. So when you purchase a membership, they also donate a membership to a low income family. Orders over $49 ship free, which you know, with groceries is pretty easy to hit. Thrive Market has two different membership options depending on what fits your lifestyle best, what you wanna go with. But personally, I do the annual one, which works out to be about $5 a month. And just in this one order I saved, I will show you $62.32. So just in this one order. Or you can go monthly and it's $9.95 a month. And if you decide you don't like it or you change your mind, you can cancel risk-free for 30 days. So I'll have the link for Thrive Market down below, but if you guys wanna check it out, they're giving you 25% off your first order and a free gift if you join today. So all of that will be down below in the description box. By the way, I have other favorites on there. Like I love getting the bonza pasta. Thrive Market pasta sauces are really good. Their flour, just like the basics. I get a lot of stuff on there, but I hope this gave you some ideas for some of my favorites. Okay, next favorite, I have a skincare item by Dr. Jart. So this is their Ceramidin Cream Moisture Retention Shield. I picked this up on YesStyle, but I, I think you can get it on Sephora too. I've been using this as a night cream and it's been working out so well for me. It's unscented and it has just the right thickness. I prefer a more thick cream. I just feel like it's doing more, especially at night. I don't want like a lightweight gel moisturizer, okay? This thing is nice and thick. It's not as thick as my CeraVe night cream in the purple jar. That one is thicker, but this one just sits really nice with all of my oils. It doesn't break me out. My skin does feel more moisturized and plumped in the morning. And I've just been really loving this one if you're on the hunt for a new moisturizer. Next up, we have a drugstore lip mask that I actually think might be my current number one. Like out of all my lip masks, high-end, drugstore, everything. This is amazing. This is so underrated. It's the Milani Avocado Butter. I've gone through about half of this. There's so many things I love about this. I actually really love the scent. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it does have like a slight mint scent, but also slightly fruity, which I usually don't like at all. Like I usually don't like fruity, sweet smelling lip products. This one doesn't bother me at all. And I actually really like the scent of it. It does give you that like really 
plump looking, glossy kind of lips, super pretty. I use this in my Get Unready With Me video on TikTok if you wanna see how it looks on. But the main thing is that this does a killer job of really moisturizing your lips. When I put this on at night, and I put on like a decent layer, like pretty thick, when I wake up in the morning, it is still fully on. It just really locks in the moisture. My lips don't even have a chance to get dry. I feel like my lips have been so much less cracked since I started using this. And I'll still switch between this and Aquaphor, but I feel like the mornings when I use this, my lips are even more moisturized. Next up we have the lip product that I'm wearing right now. This is Glossier Lucite. I've mentioned this in a few videos this past month because it is so bomb. This is a Glossier product that I do think is worth it. It's their Ultra Lip. And this is a new formula from them. This is a newer launch. And I've been using this pretty frequently. Like I wanna say almost every single day in some capacity because it's so versatile. You can use it like this where I do have on a lip liner. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I can put on a lip liner, put this on as like a full on lipstick or on days when I'm wearing like, you know, just a tint moisturizer, light coverage foundation, but I want a little bit of something on my lips. I'll dab this on. It gives like the perfect glossy, but not thick glossy kind of finish. I love the color prettiest baby doll pink color, but if you're not into this light of a pink, the shade Vesper is also really pretty. This gives you that like just ate a popsicle kind of look. Me trying to figure out why I swatched these right here and how to show you them. So here's Vesper, here's Lucite. The formula is just very, very comfortable. They killed it on this formula. It doesn't slip around, has just the right amount of pigment. It's not scented, which I love. It's so rare to find lip products that aren't scented. I'm just gonna quickly touch on this one because I did a whole video on it, but my foundation favorite has been the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Medium coverage, satin finish from the drugstore. So pretty, beautiful for mixing in with other products or wearing on its own. Such a beautiful foundation. If you haven't tried this yet and you're into medium coverage and a satin finish, honestly, you don't even have to be into the satin finish because you can make this glowier. Just put on a glowy primer and glowy setting spray. It just sits so well on my skin. I've been loving this. So you guys know how picky I am with powders. And this powder totally shocked me. I've talked about this in a few videos recently because I've been wearing it a ton and loving it, but it's the Patrick Star One Size Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. I actually don't use it as a powder foundation. I use it as like a finishing powder in a lot of different ways. If my foundation's looking too light that day, I'll use it on like the perimeter of my face. But this is one of those powders that I can put all over my face, which is very rare for me. Powders usually make my foundation look way worse. This finish is, I think, unlike any other powder I've tried. I really can't think of a powder that this compares to. It has a satin finish, but it really like super melts into the skin. I can even use like a flimsy bigger brush with this, which I normally can't with powder. It does have coverage, which I also love because it's not lifting up product underneath. It's just kind of adding more coverage. I do have it on today just on like the perimeter of my face, but I also have on a different powder I'm gonna talk about because I wanted to wear both and tell you about both. This is beautiful. I haven't picked up the lighter shade yet because I wanna go in store. Sephora when I don't have tanner on to shade match because I have no idea what color I'm gonna be. But this one is the shade medium four and this is like my deepest tan kind of color. Like right now I could only use it where I normally bronze. It's just one of those products that really pleasantly surprised me. While we're talking about powders, let's just do the other one I just mentioned that's on my face, actually it's on my forehead, like in the middle and it's around my nose right now. And this powder I briefly mentioned in my last current favorites video, but not as a favorite. I mentioned that I really liked it, but it wasn't like a favorite favorite at that point, but it has grown on me and I'll tell you how and why, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. So I figured out that if you want the full, full airbrush look with this, use the Shop Miss A powder sponge that I always talk about, the purple like fluffy one. I'll link it down below, it's like a dollar. Use that and just press it in around your pores or on your forehead, wherever you want, and this just smooths it out. And again, my skin usually does not do well with powder. Okay, my camera just overheated, so I was taking a break and just eating Smart Sweets the whole time. Next up, I have a tinted sunscreen favorite, and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me applying this and talking about it, but this is the Elastin Skincare Hydrotint Pro Mineral Sunscreen. So I heard about this from Whitney. I'll have her channel down below. I am gonna be having my favorite SPS video coming very soon. This is one that I don't quite have anything like in my collection. So basically it's a tinted mineral sunscreen. A lot of mineral sunscreens have tints in them to counteract 
the white. But this I feel like is so tinted, like it actually has some coverage to it that I feel like it almost could be considered like a CC cream. So because of that, I feel like they do need to release more than one shade unless you're planning on using this underneath foundation, which a lot of people do with tinted sunscreens. But if you're someone who wants to just use this product and nothing else over top, which you totally can. I would say it has light coverage, but especially if you use this and then just like spot conceal, you could 100% just like wear this as a foundation basically. So depending on kind of how you would use this, the shade might not work. Like for example, when I don't have tanner on, I can't use this in that way just as a one and done kind of product because it is too dark. When I have tanner on, it matches perfectly. So I would love it if Elastin Skincare came out with more shades of this or even like re-release this as a CC cream or something because the formula of this is so pretty. It is very dewy, but it has just the right consistency where it doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel too serum-like or gel-like. This compared to the Bliss Blockstar, which I mentioned in my last current favorites video, that one is definitely more matte and more blurring. This is more dewy and like very skin-like looking. The only thing is I wouldn't get this if you're planning on wearing it in the water because I have worn it to the lake a couple times and I noticed, and I think I got a photo, I'll pop it in here, that when you fully dunk, like if your face is wet, it's for sure waterproof because you can see the water sitting on top of the product, but it just turns into like white droplets. So you can for sure see them all over your face. So this isn't one that I'm gonna be wearing from now on into the water but you know it's not like i'm going in the water every single day and i have other spfs that i would wear for that like the bliss block star apparently the way you say this brand is say so next up we have the say sun milk cream bronzer in light bronze so this has become pretty much my go-to cream bronzer it's what i've been reaching for almost every single day i love the color and tone that this is. It leans more on the reddish side. I can still wear this when my skin is fair. I just have to use less. Like I'll do one dip for both sides of my face and just blend it out really well. But I look for with creams, it just lays nicely on top, doesn't pick up what's underneath. You know the deal. This one does have a bit of a sheen to it. It's not like totally matte. So I just feel like when I turn my head in the light, I don't have it on today. I have a powder bronzer on today, but when I turn my head like in the light with this one, it just looks so skin-like and so pretty because of the sheen that it has. Next favorite is the Kiss My Face Moisture Shave Cool Mint. I actually picked this up on Thrive Market in a past order. I think this scent is gonna be really hit or miss for some people because it borderlines on like toothpaste for me, but it has this very minty, super fresh kind of scent. Basically, this is just a super creamy moisturizing shaving product. I've been using it on my legs or my armpits. It leaves my skin very moisturized. It does give me a close shave, which I really like. It's been working really well for me, and I'm pretty sure I got this for around like five bucks on Thrive. I mentioned these in my speed reviews video, but they're so nice. This is a Sigma Renew Lip Oil. The shade that I reach for most often is Tranquil. It's just this very pretty, light pink kind of shade and again this is unscented which I love if you have fine lines you'll probably love this it's one of those lip products that just sits really nicely over the lips it gives a slight color but it just looks very glossy makes your lips look really plump and healthy and if I don't want to put on like the glossier or if I just am doing like no makeup or something I'll throw this on and it just looks so pretty and the other shade I like is tint. This one's more of like a nude. Next is the Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. This is one of those products that I kind of rediscovered and I forgot how amazing this hair oil is. And I, I went on to read reviews to be like, am I the only one that thinks this is absolutely incredible? And no, this product has amazing reviews and there's something different about this hair oil. It says you can apply throughout damp hair or add to ends after styling for extra luster, conditioning, and frizz control. That's usually how I do it. I'll almost always put this on dry hair, especially on the ends. And I feel like it just has made my hair, I don't know, maybe this is what's made my hair grow fast actually, now that I think about it, cause I've been using this for the past like three months consistently and my hair has just been growing like crazy. I haven't been taking any extra vitamins or anything, so I don't know, but I do really feel like it helps with split ends and just making the bottom of my hair feel really healthy. It's not too heavy of an oil, so you can use it on dry hair and it smells incredible. It smells like a like fancy perfume. And you don't need a lot of that. You need like a super tiny amount. So that bottle will last you forever. This is one of those just like daily products that I've been using and loving for probably at least six months at this point. But I realized that I don't think I've ever actually talked about as a favorite. So I wanted to throw it in. It's the BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in the shade Beige. If you want the best cream 
liner for your waterline to just really open up your eyes. This one is the perfect color. It's very pigmented, goes on the waterline really well, lasts super well throughout the day. You can get it on BH Cosmetics. Usually they go on sale for like four fifty, five bucks. Super creamy, just a really good cream color for your waterline. If you put that on your waterline, it can just really make your eyes look bigger. And if you're someone like me who gets red eyes really easily, like every day, it can also help with the redness on your eyes. I always have so many makeup products that don't work out for me. Usually I'll put those into speed reviews videos and I just did a speed review. So these are products that I really didn't like. I did a video recently testing Amazon's top rated makeup. The Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil top rated don't know why do not know why it is the thickest pencil i find it so hard to work with just gives me like the most blurred looking brows which i don't want this thing is just so chunky i don't get the amazing reviews okay this one i really wanted to work because i've heard good things about it but it's the bare minerals faux tan bronzer it might just be my skin because like i said loud motorcycle loose powders usually don't work well on my skin but i feel like especially with a bronzer. I just always find loose powder bronzers so difficult to work with because you have a product that's really pigmented, but then it's loose, so it ends up looking really patchy. Anyways, that's what happened with this product. I just could not get this bronzer to not look patchy on me. I found it so difficult to blend out and work with. Every now and then I'll kind of shop my collection, retry things to be like, do I still need this? Do I still want to keep this? And that's what I did with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. This is horrible. Oh, I don't understand this one. This just made my under eyes look 15 years older than I am. It looked so dry. It emphasized every little line under there. It looked super dry. Also difficult to like blend into your foundation. Really not a fan of this concealer. Like it was, it was bad. And then the Revolution Niacinamide Mirror Shine Serum. I was excited about this because I love like shiny hair serums and I have a couple in my collection that I really like. One of them was discontinued, of course. So I'm kind of trying to find a new one that I can try out and recommend to you guys, hopefully. This is, this is not that. Okay, I'm gonna need some sunglasses in a second, but basically this did nothing, like zero shine whatsoever. I tried it a few times just to make sure. And every time I had to go in with my Orbe to add shine because this did literally nothing. I don't, I don't understand what this is and what it's doing in this bottle. I actually have another Revolution product. This is their Liquid Powder Pore Blurring Makeup Serum. Another product that I feel like was just marketed totally different than it actually is. It says liquid powder. It's literally just a serum that doesn't do any kind of pore blurring for me. If anything, it gave like kind of a dewy finish. So I don't understand the liquid powder thing, the pore blurring. I don't know, man. This was just like a serum. And then last reject of the month, I kind of retested this because it was in my collection. I was trying a lot of pore blurring products the last couple months. This is the Nudie's Tinted Blur Stick. I feel like I've heard good things about this, but this is basically like a light pink colored blur stick. And I just find that this really didn't do a whole lot of blurring at all. It almost gave like a chalky kind of appearance over my pores. And I tried it a few different days. The first time I was like, maybe it was the sunscreen I had on or something. It just is like, and even putting on my hand, it has this like very dry kind of feel to it. Once it blends out, it almost turns into like this dry kind of powder. I don't know, I just have other blurring products that I find to be way more effective. Okay, I think that was everything. That was a long one. I'm gonna have everything I talked about listed down below in the description box, along with the 25% off link for Thrive Market. It's just thrivemarket.com slash taylorwin. It's down below. It'll give you 25% off your first order plus free gift. And everything else I talked about is always listed down below in the description box. I'll tell you the makeup that I use for the rest of my face. For a highlight, I use Sigma Glow Kiss. This almost made it into the video because I've been using this a ton. When I do want a powder highlight, I've been reaching for this a lot. Super pretty, very intense. It's definitely not like a natural looking highlight. For eyeshadow, again, I use the Amazon like $10 palette that I tested in that video. So far, so good with this one, you guys. I've actually been really enjoying this. For blush, I used Buxom Havana, just a really pretty pink blush. And then I used the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. I guess it's not chocolate. <laughs> I just think that's the name in my head. I don't know what this is actually called, but it looks like chocolate to me. All right, I'm gonna go eat more Smart Sweets, put away all my Thrive goodies. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.